Lavna from Lexus and Company working as an intern today we talking about maintenance under Hindu Marriage Act of 1955 according to 1955 act the spouse and maintenance is a highly intricate subject it is frequently claimed that asking for lifetime alimony is a way to take advantage of the husband according to section 24 of the HMA 1955 either the husband or the wife may request maintenance pending claim or support while legal action is pending additionally section 25 of the act outlines the prerequisites for permanent alimony the payments that a husband is obligated to make to his wife under certain conditions are referred to as the maintenance now what does section 24 of the hma says it talks about the maintenance pendant light and expenses or proceedings if either spouse is unable to support themselves while the case is pending relief may be given under this act in form of maintenance and court costs Section 24 gives the court an authority to order either spouse who is unable to sustain themselves independently to pay the cost. It may be asserted in any act procedure, including one to obtain a decree of nullity pursuant to Section 11 of 1955 of Act. The cost associated with the proceedings include the cost of attorney services, the cost of postage, clerical work, and travel. The only factor to be taken into account when ascertaining whether to grant maintenance is pendant or light is whether the claimant is or not able to support himself. As observed in the case of Chitra Lekha v. Ranjit Rai, 1976, the purpose of Section 24 is to give financial support to the indigent spouse so that they can maintain themselves while the proceedings are going on. Under Section 24, the court cannot refuse to award an interim maintenance and the cost of the proceedings on the ground that applicant is unlikely to prevail in the dispute. Now, according to Section 25 of Hindu Marriage Act 1955, if a decree of restitution of conjugal rights, judicial separation, divorce, or annulment of marriage is issued under the Act, both the husband and the wife may be granted maintenance and permanent alimony. A court order of type contemplated, contemplated by Section 9 to 13 of HMA must be issued in order to be eligible for the alimony. In cases of Chand Dhawan v. Jawaharlal Dhawan 1993, the Supreme Court ruled that the language making any decree indicates that an order for perpetual alimony can be obtained whenever a judgment is passed under this Act. According to 25 clause 2, the court may alter or revoke any order for permanent alimony upon showing that the parties and the circumstances have changed. For example, they got married again or they have broken the vow of celibacy.